This video looks at identifying the properties of a sine wave. The equation we're given is y equals 2 sine of brackets 3 brackets x minus 45 2 brackets plus 1. There's two types of properties we're going to look at, the transformations and then the actual properties of the sine wave. And this will work for cosine too, it's sine or cosine, anything that's a wave, a sinusoidal function, sine or cosine, we're just going to do sine. So starting with list the transformations. Now, first note, I believe they should be in order, and the order is what I call k bad. It's this k value, then the b value, then the a value, then the d value. Let's start with the k value. The k is 3, so the transformation is going to be based on this 3, but it's in the brackets, which means it works on x, and anything that works on x, we do the opposite. So this 3 looks like it's timesing by 3, but since it's in the brackets with x, always the opposite for x, this is going to be the opposite of times 3, it's divide by 3. So we write horizontal, because it's on x, but since it's divide by 3, we write compression of 1 third. And with me, I'm always looking for three pieces. The number, the direction, and the type. It's a compression of one-third horizontally. You could write it any way as long as you say the three things. And we start with the k value. The next one's the b value. The b value is also going to be horizontal, but it's a shift or a translation. You could even say move. So what type is it? Shift. What's the direction? It's negative, but it's an x thing. Remember this x means do the opposite. So since it's negative, we go the other way, positive, which on the x-axis is to the right. So shift right by how much? 45. Again, you need to have the type, the direction, the number. Could have also said right shift 45 or 45 shift right. But as long as you do it in the right order of the k first, then the b, now the a. This is a y thing. It's a timesing thing, and it's on the y, so it's a vertical. And since we're timesing by a number, it's a stretch. So a vertical stretch of, and since it's 2, we put 2. Notice this word of or by doesn't even matter. Again, I'm looking for type, stretch, direction, vertical, of 2. Amount. Finally, we did the K, we did the B in that order, the K bad, so finish with the D. This D is a plus one, so that happens on the y-axis, and it's a shift or a move. Since it's on the y, you either go up and down, but since it's plus, we go up, shift up. And like I said, you don't need this of or the by, just the type, direction, and the number. Shift up one. We've listed the transformations in the proper order correctly. Now we're going to state the properties. Let's identify these numbers here to help, because people mix them up all the time. Here it doesn't matter what order you do the properties in. It very much matters for the transformations, not for these properties. So the D is 1, the A is 2, the B is negative 45. All this B is, includes the negative, and the K is 3. The reason I did them this way, I just like it this way. I like first identifying what's the axis of the curve. That's the middle of the wave, and it's defined by this D value. So the axis of the curve is Y equals 1 has to be written as an equation. Make sure you write it y equals whatever the d is. The amplitude, that's just the height of the waves and it's given by the a value. So whatever the a is, that's the amplitude, not an equation, just a number, two. The height of the waves are two. The phase shift, that's given by this b value, except with the phase shift, just like with the transformation, you switch the numbers. So here you have negative 45, since x does the opposite thing. This negative 45 means it's a 45 degree or 45 whatever the units are shift right. But I'm just going to write 45. It's a plos positive 45 phase shift. Axis of curve y equals 1. Amplitude's 2, phase shift 45. What's the period? This is the one where you got to remember a little formula. Instead of a, semi a colon here, I could even put an equal sign this time because I'm going to use a little formula which is we calculate period by doing 360 divided by k, which is 360 divided by 3. What's 360 divided by 3? Feel free to use a calculator. You get 120. And that should make sense to you, right? Because 
it's supposed to be a horizontal compression of a third. This wave is as third as big as a normal sine wave. That's why this formula works. It's take the normal period of a regular sine wave and divide by whatever the k is. That'll work the compression or the stretch. In this case, it's compressed by three, so divide by three, you get 120. We've identified the properties of a sine wave. We first listed the transformation in the correct order, and then we stated the properties based on the variables of the equation.